Focal points are so important in anybody's garden. And today we're going to be showing you how to create your very own focal point using a second hand door and a gorgeous statue. Those are the key ingredients that you're going to be needing. What we're going to be finishing it off with is this beautiful antique crackle, which makes it look old with loads and loads of beautiful textures. We're going to show you how easy it is in the next few steps. All you're going to need to make one of these awesome door frames is the following. You're going to need a door and the frame, of course, or this could be a new one or a secondhand one. Undercoat or wood primer, PVA paint, and that's the colour of your choice. Anti crackle base and the top coat. A solvent based sealer, right for the end. Six millimetres reinforcing bar, epoxy and some fencing staples. The tools you're going to need for this project, very simple. You're going to need a sander, a paintbrush, a paint pot, a drill, an 8mm wooden drill bit and a hammer. Right guys, we're ready with our first step and this is where we get to do the painting. Remember, if you've got a second hand door, you really need to get the sander, sand it all the way down to the base, to the wood, because that's important in order to get that crackle effect going that you're wanting. Now, if you've got a raw door like this, what we need to do is to apply some undercoat and this is just an ordinary PVA undercoat. Take a paintbrush and just whack it on as evenly as you can and do that across the entire surface of the door. Now applying undercoat is a really simple process and there's not much to it and the most important part is that you can learn to get your technique right of how you're working with your brush. In order to make things really quick and simple, because who likes waiting for paint to dry, we have done all the steps to show you the final application of the door. So this is the undercoat that would have been applied to the entire door frame. Remember that? Any ordinary undercoat. Next is the paint color of your choice. And we've gone with a beautiful dark blue and applied that onto our surface so that it's nice and completely covered and remember you want to get through all the little sides as well of your door frame. Next up is you're going to apply two coats of the base paint. This is the base of your crackle. Now it is pretty clear, it doesn't really look like there are any changes but it's important to apply one coat, allow it to dry and then apply the second coat and allow it to dry and you're going to need a good few hours in between these applications. Your final application is where the fun really starts. And this is where you're going to start putting on your crackle. The crackle takes at least 72 hours to really show what it does. You also need two coats of this. The thicker you apply it, the bigger the cracks are going to appear on your final product. All the applications have now been done to our door, the crackle is finished. Our final bit now, which we've already done, is to seal it with an all-purpose sealer. Remember to get to the spots that are even going to be touching the surface of the soil because you don't want any moisture being able to get drawn up through that. We're ready now to apply the steel rods into both ends of the frame. What we need to do is drill into the bottom of the, each sides of the frame with a 100 millimeter drill bit. Next step, using the reinforcing, place a dollop of pre-mixed poxy onto the end of it and then insert that into the drilled hole. Once it's in, just to make sure it's really nice and firm, a good tap on the end with the hammer. This will be done to both sides of the frame. The reason why we're doing this on both sides is to provide extra stability and support for the door and to make it safe in and around the garden. Next step is to decide our location in the garden. I found the perfect location with the statue behind me, which is going to form one of the focal points. First up, what you need to do is create a level area where the door frame will be sitting. To make sure it's really level, get spirit level and work your surface so that all the preparation work is done sufficiently.
the frame and door is in place and looking gorgeous. We've opened the door slightly and there you can see our focal point, which is our beautiful statue at the back. Now what we need to do is secure the door by using a reinforcing steel bar, a hammer, and we've got two U-nails. Remember, everything that you need to put this together is available from your local builder store.